Good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let's take a look at the Everbuilt half horsepower shallow well pump, a super powerful shallow well pump and how it sets up. So a really great buy, um, I think, for 300 bucks, totally contained, don't have to buy anything else. It seems to be functioning pretty well. Yes, we could get a larger storage tank and get a little bit more pressure, but you know, for what I'm doing with it, this is gonna work really good. So this pump I bought about two months ago, and it's just it's been sitting out in a storage shed, and it's an Everbuilt. It came from Home Depot, and you can see it's totally self-contained. It's got the pump, it's got the air, it's got the valve, it has a regulator. It's totally self-contained, which is really great, about 300 bucks. And the only thing that you have to buy is you have to buy a few fittings so that you can make your plumbing connections, and that's not bad. Um, but what's nice about it, I like to run things on 110. And what that means is that I can hook up just a regular plug, you know, directly into where we wired it together. Let's take a look in there first. And I mean, it makes it so simple. One of the great things about this particular pump and most pumps today, you can switch it from uh, 115 to 230. And granted, 230 does pull less power. I mean, it's a little, save you a little bit of money on your electricity, but like I said, I like to run 110 because I can easily plug this into a receptacle, a GFI receptacle, which we've already got close by here. So to wire it up, real simple. You've got your neutral wires. You can see how they come in, your power wires and your ground. And it's so easy to put this back together. You know, it's just, you just need a screwdriver. Of course, you can use a handy dandy drill as well. Secure the screws, put it back together, and it's ready to plug in. And we're all set. So, kind of go over it real quick. We've got our inlet, the suction line coming out of the well. We just watched that video of how much work that was um, to put that together. And we'll bring up a one inch pipe, comes up, goes into the pump. The pump's just gonna pull that water right out, come right out through here. I added a little valve just to keep it so I can show you real quick. But what a great little system to run. I mean, it works so good. So this is a typical well point, and this is what I use. This is inch and a quarter. And if you look closely, you can see all of the lines that have been cut in it to allow the water to come in. And I use two of them and put the insert inside the coupling to push them together. And so we've got, I actually use four foot pieces. So we've got about eight feet of well point that goes down into the ground. That's right over here. So just a real quick review, this is just kind of a protection shaft, just because this kind of moves around a little bit. And when we put the cap on here, we put the well cap on top, it's not gonna move at all. But protection for right now, this goes down about 10 feet. This pipe, this is the inlet, it's got the well point at the bottom of it and a check valve. After the well point, you need to put a check valve so that the water does not just run back out of your pump and go back down into the ground. You gotta keep that pump primed all the time. So that's the setup there, real simple. Comes over. Got some inspections right here. We're gonna turn it on and see what kind of pressure we get out of it. Really excited, let's see if it works. So here we go. Oh, it kicked right on. Oh, it's pulling water right away. Let's turn this off so we can build up some pressure. Oh, I can hear it building up. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're building up pressure. Let's see how much pressure we can get to hold. Looking good, over 40 pounds, 50 pounds. 50 pounds, well, 48 pounds of pressure. Not bad, not bad. So now we're just gonna go ahead and let it run for a while, see what kind of, you know, of flow we get. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> you can see that water that's <laughs> shooting out all the way back here. Beautiful, beautiful. We're just gonna let it run. 
see if it clears up. Also, I want to see if we have sulfur water. So let's just smell it. Mm, it smells pretty clean. Real clean. Pump just kicked back on. We'll watch that again. I think this pump's set for about 20 pounds. That's when the pressure gauge will kick it back on again. So we're doing really good. Let's let this run. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to let it run for about an hour and see how much, you know, just make sure that that well is going to pull plenty of water. So a really great buy, um, I think, for 300 bucks, totally contained, don't have to buy anything else. It seems to be functioning pretty well. Yes, we could get a larger storage tank and get a little bit more pressure, but you know, for what I'm doing with it, this is gonna work really good. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.